honestly, I didn't like her that much. We would be running laps at 10 in the morning and Wendy would be smiling and cheerful and it was weird. But over the years, that ray of sunshine is what I love most about Wendy. From figuring out our awkward high school years to exploring the Bay Area as Cal students to trying to figure out adulthood with all its hits and misses. Through the hardest times, Wendy's optimism kept us resilient in times of levity, celebrating with Wendy added so much more joy. Let me tell you what kind of guy Steven is. Growing up, Steven always got the better grades. I remember one semester I did so terrible in school, I convinced this guy to talk, that we should toss a report card in the trash when they got in the mail. Mind you, he was getting straight A's at the time, but he agreed to it anyways. No matter our differences, we always had each other's back, all the way. And that's one thing about Steven. And I think everyone here can agree that when he says he's got you, he's got you. Okay, so I have witnessed their relationship from the very start when they first got together, when they were first in San Jose State and uh, Berkeley. That's how much I know both of them. And by all seriousness, um, I have seen all their ups and downs and the period where they took time apart. And I can confidently vouch for both you, Steven, and Wendy that you truly are meant for each other and times when you're apart, life was just not the same. And I couldn't be happier to see Steven getting married to his love of his life, Wendy, because now I get a one-stop shop for my dental care and my primary health care. spent 15 of our most formative years together. The memories created and the compromise made cannot be taken lightly. In these years, we did not particularly become more mature. We are less for hanging out late on a work night, bar food and happy hours, and going to Dave and Buster has not changed. How I feel love, supported, and never judged by you has not changed. However, I do realize more each day that I'm the luckiest girl to the center of attention of your mischievous eyes. I love watching you across the room when you're with others. You bring such humor and levity to life. You're generous with your laugh and you put such effort and priority in thinking of others and putting each other at ease. Steven, you're a good person and you make me want to become a better person. A few weeks ago amidst the wedding planning stress, I expressed what I needed to feel loved and what I needed from you. Not only did you step up to the task, but you went above and beyond what I can imagine. I see time and time again that when you want to do something, you put your whole heart into it. And the results are mind-blowing. Like the script and execution of the proposal and the engagement party, what you, how you are with your patients and your career, um, when you officiate Tim Jula's wedding, that was really great. When you make great elaborate meals 
and last Christmas when you surprised me with a house full of Christmas decoration when I came home from work. Your ability to do maximum effort and your thoroughness makes me confident that you'll be a great partner and you'll be a great father. So today, with my whole heart, I promise to try to give you back all the love, attention, and care you so readily give to the world. I promise to keep myself open to you and continuously work on myself and be the wife you want and deserve. I promise to cherish and protect our love. I promise to laugh at all your jokes, even when they're not your best work. Steven, you are the brightest star in this room and you'll always be the brightest star in any of my rooms. I've known you for more than half my life and I'll love you for the rest of it. Wendy, who would have guessed that an incidental meeting at a party would lead me to me finding my soulmate? I remember seeing you for the first time at that party and knew you were someone whose email I needed to have. What was initially supposed to be a summer fling has blossomed into my favorite love story. From buying you a $6 water after our first outing to driving six hours to see you in my beater of a car, we've overcome all the impossibles to make us possible. Like a beautifully written movie script, it brings me so much joy to see all the things we have built and nurtured over the last 15 years. We were able to support one another through undergrad and grad school, raise two great dogs, buy a house, have a group of wonderful friends and family that support and love us, and most importantly, see our Dave & Buster's Power Card climb to close to 100,000 tickets. Whether it was training for my marathon or studying for my boards, you have always been in my corner and my biggest supporter through it all. Although we show love in our own unique ways, it makes me feel so loved that you always ensure I come home to a hot meal or remind me to wear a jacket when it's cold out. Since day one, you've made it a mission to make my friends and family your friends and family. My challenges, your challenges. My food and boba, your food and boba. I can say with certainty, I would not be the man I am today if it weren't for your loving heart, supportive nature, and generous smile. I can honestly say you make me strive to be the best version of myself. As your husband, I promise to be patient, kind, and understanding, even when things get tough. I will listen to you, respect your opinions, and always try to see things from your perspective. I promise to time my jokes perfectly while you're eating so that you can spit your food all over me. I promise that even if I'm dealing with hand, foot, mouth, I'll always hold your hand, feet, and mouth through all of our challenges and success. I promise that even though my patience is low due to some weird experimental diet I'm on, I'll always try to be patient with you. I promise to always bring excitement into our relationship and make you feel loved and special every single day. And most importantly, I promise not to carry on watching a Netflix series we started together without you. And if I do, I'll pretend like it's the first time I've ever seen it. I know I couldn't land a backflip, but I know I landed the smartest, most beautiful, and caring wife there is. I chose you in 2008. I choose you today. And I will continue choosing you forever. Quote, Pokemon. Thank you for giving me a reason to smile every morning. Let us feel that strong feeling of love like when we first met for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to carry our fun and loving nature into our next journey as husband and wife. I love you with all of me. I spent my years trying to open doors Hoping I'd find what I was searching for I swear you made it all That will make all our memories out You told all your friends that you dreamed about You made me find something real Find something real If clouds block the sun and rain on our parade I'll see the light through the trees like I did the day You made me find something real
has been one of the greatest joys of my life. And I think a lot of you here can say the same. So, Wendy and Steven, I wish you and your future child, Dill, all the love and happiness in the world. Congratulations, and I love you both. Steven is an amazing brother, and I can't imagine how great of a husband he'll be. Congratulations, you guys. If time ever gets unpleasant, just remember pleasant, just remember the pleasant times and know that the headache is worth dealing with because um, there's nothing that a bottle of wine or maybe liquor can't solve. I'm proud to be the father of the man I see here, Stephen. I also want to say thank you for everyone at the time to be here tonight with us. Thank you very much. To our friends and family, thank you for being here and sharing this special moment with us. With your blessings and support here this evening, I hope they will continue to work hard, be happy, and make progress as a family with each passing day. Now we raise our glasses to wish them a long life, a loving husband and wife, and an early birth to our precious child. Thank you all. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. It's amazing. I present to you for the first time, the newlyweds. Let's celebrate them. It's amazing. It's amazing. Watch what happens now.